Hello. This tutorial video will show you how to configure and use the 5.9 phone system during the Stand Up to Cancer Telethon. You'll use 5.9 to take live calls during the Telethon. Your organization will provide you with a link to the 5.9 login page, shown here, as well as a username and a password. Please remember that you cannot reset this password. If for some reason you lose your password or you forget it, please do not use the forgot password link here on the login page. It's not going to help you. Um, instead, if you will reach out to your supervisor or your organization's events support team, they will be able to help you get access to 5.9. Uh, another thing that's important, you should make sure that you open the 5.9 login page in Google Chrome. We're going to be installing a Google Chrome extension, and that will, that will save us some time. After you have entered your credentials on the login page, go ahead and click the uh, green login button. And after you've done that, it will take you over to the um, uh, applications page. Once you're at the applications page, the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to select agent. So click on agent. And the system will take you over to the station set page. You only have to do this the first time, uh, but there's a couple of steps that we have to follow to set up the station before you can use it. After you've done this one time, you won't have to do it again um, if you work um, uh, successive shifts. So um, the first thing that you need to do is you need to choose the station type. We want to make sure that you choose soft phone, and then you're going to enter your station ID. You should have been given your station ID um, by your organization. You'll just take your station ID and enter it right here and then click next. It will validate the station ID. So give it just a moment. As it does that, it will take you over to the station check screen. The station, the station check screen has two different steps to it. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to install the 5.9 browser extension. Again, this is a Chrome extension, which is why we open this in Chrome. All you have to do is click the button under step one, and it will open up a new tab for you. Once it opens up this new tab, you'll click, it'll show you the 5.9 soft phone extension. You'll click add to Chrome, and you may need to click add extension. Once it has been added, it should give you a notification up here that 5.9 extension has been added to Chrome. You can close out of that and you can close this tab to go back over here to the station check screen in 5.9. Once that's done, go ahead and click, uh, go to step two, click download and install the 5.9 soft phone. And that should start downloading the soft phone software for you. Give that just a moment or two to download. Once it's finished, you can open it up and it will take it a moment to open and install. Just give it a second and you'll see the installation come up on your screen. You may need to allow that if you get a Windows pop up, you may need to allow it. Windows security sometimes blocks it. So if that shows up, just make sure that you click allow. It does take a couple of minutes sometimes for this to load in and start installing. So just be patient with it. But it will load momentarily. One of the ways that you will know that you are finished configuring your station is when you hear three beeps in your headset or from your computer speakers. Uh, soft phone software opens. You'll see that it will install pretty quickly and you can click finish. And then the last thing that you want to do is you want to come over here and click this refresh button to verify that everything has been installed correctly. And this is where you should hear the three beeps. And it will take you over to
There we go. Got the three beeps. Now, if the connection is successful, you will see down here the speakers and your microphone. Make sure that these are set to your headset and not some other speaker or some other microphone. If they are, in fact, set correctly, you can click View My Dashboard. And this will take you over to your dashboard. From here, there are several different things that you should be aware of. The first thing is your status. You'll notice that it says over here that I am connected. The next thing is the volume controls. Down in the bottom uh, right-hand corner, you will see a volume control for your speakers and also for your microphone. So if you need to adjust either of those, you can do it there. And then up here in the upper left corner, you will see your current state. Right now I'm in a red, not ready state, so I can't get any calls. When you're ready to start receiving calls, you can switch this over to one of the green states, um, ready for or ready voice, and it will allow you to start receiving phone calls. So I'm going to go ahead and show you what it looks like when a call comes in. So I'm going to switch this over to ready voice, and now I am able to receive a call. When a call comes in, it will look like this. You'll hear a sound in your headset, and then you will find the call pops up along with the caller ID. Go ahead and click OK, and you're in a live call. From here in the live call, you have your phone controls over here. You have a mute button, a hold button. You're not going to be transferring anybody to anyone, so you don't need to worry about that. And then you have your end call button over here. You also have a button here for a script. There is currently no script in here, but there may be one added by the time that the telethon happens. After you receive the call, you will use the script that's shown under the script button, and then you will go over to the Fundraise Up donation form, also known as the virtual terminal, and you will take the um, donation there using the script that is listed in the Fundraise Up donation form. When you finish the call, either the caller will end the call or you can come over here and click end call. And when you do, you will need to come over and set the disposition. There is no way for you to get another call until you set the disposition for this call. So it's important that you set the disposition on every call. Otherwise, you will not receive any more calls. There's a number of different dis dispositions that we're going to be using. The one that you will use most of the time, of course, will be donation. You also have hung up, language barrier for someone that you can't talk to because of the uh, language barrier, large donation, $10,000 or more, mailing in check or money order, no or invalid credit card, wanted to talk to a celebrity, or wrong number. They're all pretty much self-explanatory as to how you disposition the call. Once you set the disposition for the call, in this case, it's going to be a donation. We'll confirm that. The call disappears from my desktop, and I am ready for another call. And that's how you use 5.9.